Okay. Welcome to Behind the Muscle with the Gorilla Chemist. Today we're going to be talking about Dust V2. I'm going to go into the science of all these ingredients that are in here. Uh, as you can see, it is a very comprehensive pre-workout. A lot of thought went into putting this one together. Um, there's a lot of things here that are NO boosters and that are in most other products. I'm not going to go into those specifically today. Uh, we're going to make another video on those. I'm going to go into kind of what separates dust as a pre-workout uh, from others. And it was mainly a stimulant-based product. And we have some very unique stimulants in here. So the first one I want to talk about is this. This is Arcaline. Also, it's called Arco Fuel. It's the brand name. Arcaline is a very interesting molecule, okay? It, um, it binds to the nicotine acetylcholine receptor. It's an agonist of that, meaning that it activates it uh, very similarly as nicotine does. So what's cool about arcaline is it's not your typical caffeine-based stimulant. It's not your typical beta-2 agonist stimulant. It's completely different receptors. And it it's almost gives a, a euphoric feeling because it binds to this receptor. Now, it also is shown to bind to the dopamine active transport, which, also, as you know, blocks dopamine from being reuptake, which is a mechanism of um, many other stimulants that give that euphoric feeling, as well as that amped feeling, I guess, if you call it. So, arcaline comes from the betel nut root extract, um, which is found in Indonesia. They actually chew it for this stimulant type buzz feeling that you get. And when we were doing the research, we saw that it, it actually is very effective as a stimulant. And like I said, there's nothing really out there. So one of the other ingredients that works well with arcaline is N-acetyltyrosine, which is the acetylated version of the amino acid L-tyrosine. Now this molecule has been shown to be more bioavailable than just L-tyrosine and it actually converts into dopamine in the body, which we just talked about with arcaline inhibiting the reuptake of dopamine. We're actually now having a compound that creates more dopamine so that way you get more focus, more increased cognitive function and more slight euphoria effect from the arcaline. So we also included N-methyltyramine and hortidine in here. Now N-methyltyramine is a beta-2 agonist, so you're getting a different stimulus than you are from arcaline or caffeine. Um, it's methylated on the amine here for the name N-methyl, and what that does is it kind of make, increases the half-life because the enzyme that breaks down this molecule is monoamine oxidase, MAO, and this methyl group actually causes it to be, to displace that enzyme so that it can't do its reaction. And so this increases the concentration of adrenaline and noradrenaline and cyclic AMP inside your body. And what that does is noradrenaline and adrenaline will give you that stimulant effect as well as a fat burning effect because this is like your body's fight or flight type system. And hortidine, as you can see, the only real difference is it has two methyl groups here. So as this is N-methyltyramine, hortidine is N-dimethyltyramine. Now this is a completely inhibits monoamine oxidase. So we added in hortidine here to further the effects of N-methyltyramine so that way your stimulant effects of your beta-2 agonist lasts longer. So that way it increases the concentration of norepinephrine and epinephrine in your body so that way they're acting much longer because monoamines are actually broken down very quickly in the body. So hortidine is a monoamine oxidase inhibitor which will increase the half-life of N-methyltyramine. So next I want to talk about this ingredient, steroidal vanillamide, which is an ag analog of capsaicin, which is found in red pepper, which is responsible for the spicy part of it. Um, this molecule actually is a non-pungent form, so you don't get the spiciness or the heartburn from it. But 
it actually increases epinephrine and norepinephrine levels, which we just talked about, where hortonine blocks the breakdown of those two molecules. So all of these three are working very synergistically to increase your norepinephrine and epinephrine levels to get that hype feeling in the gym. Um, there's only one oral study on this right now, and it involved mice and swimming time, and it actually improved their swimming endurance by 21%, and they, the authors of the study concluded that it was bef because of the increased adrenaline, which is norepinephrine, um, that the increased adrenaline was responsible for that increased time. So what we did is we added this not only to give the fat burning effects of capsation by increasing adrenaline, but it also can increase your performance. So all three of these molecules here were designed specifically to work synergistically by increasing epinephrine and norepinephrine levels. I saved the coolest ingredient, in my opinion, for last, which is Nupept. Now, Nupept are, this molecule is part of a group of compounds called nootropics, and they're kind of cutting edge, and nootropics are shown to increase cognitive function. Now, the original nootropic was paracetam, which was, uh, I believe, designed back in the 60s. Uh, Nupep was specifically designed based on this racetam skeleton, but they made some improvements that Nupep is actually a thousand times, has a gr greater binding affinity versus paracetam to its receptor. So Nupep is actually a really cool, really potent compound. Now, we added Nupept in not only to increase cognitive function, but it does a lot of other things. One is that it increases oxygen levels to the brain. Now studies have shown if you increase oxygen levels, it increases your mental clarity and focus. So that's one mechanism by which these compounds work. Nupept actually converts in the body into this compound, which is cyclopyrologlycine, based on the amino acids uh, parole and glycine where it gets its name. This. So this is the active metabolite of Nupep, but Nupep actually has greater bioavailability than this compound, so that's why it was designed with this structure here. But this is the active metabolite that binds to the receptor that is responsible for most of its cognitive function. So what cyclopropylglycine does is it inhibits your glutamate, which is a neurotransmitter, it inhibits that from binding to its receptors. And what this does in the body, basically, it causes neuron excitation. Glutamate is a very important neurotransmitter in the body. And what I mean by neural excitation is it causes your brain to fire faster, so that you're thinking faster, you'd be able to perform exercises with more clarity and more function more quickly, stuff like that. So cyclopropylglycine binds to the receptor, blocks glutamate from being from binding there, and now your brain is working basically in overdrive. So that's why these nootropics are really cool because they're not stimulants in the traditional sense like caffeine or beta agonists or something like that. They actually just increase mental focus through actually speeding up your brain processing thinking. Um, one of the other reasons we added this is that there's studies that show Nupep has anti-anxiety properties and so by having all of these powerful stimulants in here, this is a very powerful product. And so this, we put in Nupep not only to increase focus, cognitive function, clarity, stuff like that, but it actually to kind of calm you down from being overstimulated. So it's not gonna negate any of the stimulatory effects. Still, you're still gonna feel this very much and it's still gonna act the same way as if Nupep wasn't in here. What the Nupep is actually doing is kind of calming down your neural system a tiny bit so that it takes the edge off of having all these stimulants. If you've ever taken a lot of caffeine at once or the old ephedrine caffeine aspirin stack, you know what I'm talking about when I say you feel like shaky and overstimulated. So Nupep actually will take that effect away from you. So Nupep was a really cool ingredient that are nootropics, which look for more of those coming out in the future. I think that personally, they're going to be uh, very much used for the development of new products for cognitive function as well as pre-workouts like this one. So as you can see, there's 
a lot of ingredients that we covered today. If they have questions for any of these, leave a comment on this video. You can DM me at the Gorilla Chemist on my Instagram or leave a comment on the webpage. Um, so from Blackstone Labs, this is the Gorilla Chemist from our series Behind the Muscle, signing out.